tell that you're angry with me And I know it's all my fault I got too drunk last night, said things I didn't mean And sometimes I just don't know when to stop So why'd you give me just three minutes to explain The way that I'm feeling now Cause I'm far too proud to say it to your face But I've gotta get it out there somehow When you first came I was in an awful state My whole world was upside down Misbehaving every night and every day And trying to be a man of the town Within the past two weeks my whole life had changed I'm Charlie, welcome to the Soho Sessions, recorded live at 0101 in Soho. In this first show, I'm joined by three acts who all have a common connection with Westminster Kingsway College. You've just seen the Supernovas, and next up are the Midnight Specials. And later, we'll be seeing c and we're also joined by the rock legends Pete Brown and Phil Ryan. But for now, here's the Midnight Specials with Run.
Rudy and Oscar from the Midnight Specials. Hi guys, how are you? Hello, good. Um, so tell me a little bit how you guys started and how you became the Midnight Specials. Well, me and me and Vinny met at a festival mm -hmm. last summer. Hot Farm. Hot Farm. And uh, me and Josh sort of known each other for a long, long time. Sort of played in various groups together. So all you guys are still in college. You yeah. go to Westminster Kingsway College. Yeah. 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 How does that kind of help with doing the music as well? Well, um, I mean, today we we do, we, do, we done this video. Yeah. And that's I mean that's great to, yeah. to be able to for your, for your college to, to, to give you something that that, that quality. That's, yeah. That's really yeah. great. Yeah. Well, we get to see it. Exactly. <laughs> all the equipment's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was good fun too. Yeah. And your influences. Who are they? Do you say? Uh, Bob Dylan. Dylan. The big reason why we're <laughs> the first time yeah. we met. We were like, do you like Bob Dylan? Is yeah. that like your first question? Yeah. Oh, I was kind of quizzing him. Tina. Oh, Tina. Oh, yeah. 
yes you do Oh yes you do
joined by two fantastic musicians Phil Ryan and Pete Brown hi guys hey. thank you for joining hey. me today Welcome. did your kind of collaboration with cream come from your poetry writing yes yeah. I mean I, I had used uh, Jack and ginger had been on on um, on poetry gigs with me mm -hmm. but to, in a limited way um, and I had grown up being a great jazz fan so I loved to hear all the jazz and to meet all the jazz musicians, and then we, when I met Mike Horowitz, uh, the other poet in the group, then we formed the New Departures group, and then we had all the best jazz musicians because at that time there was very little work for jazz musicians. Mm. I mean, the, th uh, the, the thing about Cream, which nobody actually mentions, is is the rhythm section from the Graham Bond organisation, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. who were phenomenally important band. You worked quite closely with him, didn't you? Well? Yes, Graham was, was in a way, he was a mentor to both of us. Mm -hmm. um, we both loved him. I worked, we both worked with him in various, in different guises. Um, and uh, plug for commercial, but I've just produced the definitive uh, four CD box set of the Graham Bond organization, oh. which is coming out just before Christmas mm -hmm. for, for Repertoire Records. Mm -hmm. And um, there's some absolutely astonishing stuff in that. Yeah. And and what I seriously do believe, which I think Phil will back me up on, is that almost the Graham Bond organisation were to musicians at least what the Beatles were to the public. I've That's always okay, said yeah. that, you know. Yeah. I mean, they were an incredible influence. And they were also, I, I mean, Dare I say it now, I probably shouldn't say it, but I, I do say it. I loved the Graham Bond organisation more than I loved Cream. I mean, yeah. You still get to people, why aren't you doing loud rock and roll? Why aren't you doing what you did in, in 1970? Yeah. I mean, it's because we, you know, if, if you're a musician that's worth anything, you keep evolving, yeah. you change. Yeah. And yes, okay, maybe people don't keep up with you, and maybe you, you lose some people some other way, but then you try to generate... Well, I mean, this is another whatever, thing, you know, you know, whatever expectations, if people, not so much in my case, but definitely in Pete's case, mm -hmm. because of the success he's had yeah. as a lyricist, then, you know, they expect him to go on stage and kind of do, like, kind of cream things, you yeah. know? So it goes... So it goes Psycho Medelia In a run-down punk hippie bar 
There were too many ghosts around So they split in Psycho's car Delia told Psycho That it was true love at first sight She'd been kicked out of her last pad So she had to stay the night Yes, she did Psycho said to Delia That it was real good for him Though he wasn't wearing very well And the pickings had grown thin Confessed to Psycho that her habits were still bad, made him warm towards her more. They were the same ones that he had, yes, they were. So it goes, these are the blows, everybody knows. So it goes Psycho loved Delia But they sure hated being straight Lost his car and then his gig And the loving turned to hate Delia left Psycho She couldn't stand the pain Hooked up with a young dealer And she got right out of her brain Yes, she did Psycho Miss Delia She was the only one who understood Stole himself a beat-up Ford And he searched the neighborhood caught Psycho's eye in that bar of sixty shades she was too low to run away and too high to feel afraid yeah she was so it goes these are the blows everybody knows so it goes Psycho stabbed Delia With an old Swiss army knife Wrapped a chair round the dealer's face shouting she could have been my wife Delia cried, Psycho I really think I'm dying I just want you to know That it was you and only you All the time Yes, it was So it goes These are the blows Everybody knows So it goes The moral of this story If moral can be found Is with love and drugs Don't mix your kicks Or you won't be long around So it goes these are the blows Everybody knows So it goes Oh well, so it goes These are the blows Everybody knows So it goes Poor psycho
to that which is that until about 10 maybe 12 years 15 years ago then I would never have seriously attempted to sing any of those songs anyway mm -hmm. because I thought Jack was the definitive great vocalist and I was so much in awe of him as a musician um, uh, in especially his singing and compositional things, you know. Uh, um, and I didn't think for a moment that I would ever come anything near that. Um, and so I was, I was also afraid of it too. Yeah. You know, people said every now and then, oh, why don't you do that song and this song and that song. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, fuck it, I'm not going to do that. He's done people it so much better. You, yeah. But then, I, as, yeah. as somebody said to me, later on when I started I did start singing them in the end uh, and I didn't start singing them because of any sort of miserable nostalgic value that's not the reason why I did it I did it because I felt good as a singer yeah. and I felt I could bring something to them and for, and I wrote them anyway as Lots. much as he did and yeah. so and so I, I now I mean Number one, I mean, we've, we've done an arrangement of Sunshine of Your Love, which we feature with, the, with our band. Mm -hmm. That's number one. And number two, when I go to Germany, I sing a couple of songs that in, in the set with the Hamburg Blues Band that Jack and I wrote uh, uh, together, mm -hmm. including White Room sometimes and, and various things. I've always been more attracted to collaborative things. Um, and therefore, you know, the music thing has always suited me, and the film writing thing, of which I have a partner, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, which is more like the American way of writing films. Because uh, you uh, met Martin Scorsese, didn't you? I met Scorsese, and he encouraged me. Yeah. Uh, and he's a very nice guy. I still yeah. have some contact with him, and, and obviously I love his work. And he's a, it, the the thing about. After the punk thing came along and I got out of the music business for a while and I got into film via a, a, a circuitous route um, and the thing that I immediately loved about the film thing was that the directors in particular that I met and even some of the producers and technicians and people like that were actually much more intelligent than most of the people in the music business, except for the musicians, of course, yeah. who were my friends and I worked with and colleagues, part of the workforce, as it were. <laughs> but the people actually on the ground, the people that do the creative work, have to know a great deal. And therefore, it, you can actually have real great discussions with them and, and you can really talk to them and they will treat you like you're an intelligent human being. Mm -hmm. And in the record, com record business, that will never happen. No matter whether you're the brain of Britain or not, they will still treat you like a piece of shit, you know. <laughs> and, and therefore, that's, that, that was a big difference, which I noticed instantly. And when I met Scorsese, I thought, Christ, this guy knows so much about everything. Never sleep 
It seems to stall and fly And the space between It grows so deep I fly in through the night Now my head just keeps showing That cartoon film Of a time somewhere near Yesterday, yesterday now Hard to say now Hard to say Hard to say now Hard to say, yeah, yeah album Road of Cobras which is out now that's right but you've got another album being released next year yes yeah um, that one we finished in 2010 that's the current one mm -hmm. uh, which we're, we're still trying to sell it of course <laughs> uh, <laughs> because there are things on it which you know which were a, a, a progression from what we did before and you performed a couple of them today uh, yes we yeah. did 13th uh, floor the ballad 13th of cycling floor, floor. Yeah. And yes, cycling exactly, yeah. yes yes which are two of the best songs Are on, they? Would you there. say they are? And you saw um, the Midnight Specials, who we obviously got on this show yeah. as well. You quite like the sound yeah. of them. They were good. Nice. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's loads of great new yeah. young bands yeah. because... The, both the bands I saw when we arrived. Yeah, they're the not young, bad. Yeah, the yeah. young band doing yeah. the kind of Dylan yeah. band type yeah. influence yeah. things. Yeah. I thought they were terrific. Yeah, yeah they really. were interesting. And they've only been together for like four to yeah. six months. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I mean, the thing is... There's no doubt about it. You know, I've got a son who's 26. Uh, uh, Phil's got a son who's 27. Mm -hmm. And they both really learned to play great. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I mean, there's a completely different ethic. They now know that they have to be able to play great in yeah. order to get work. 
are you quite happy for them both to kind of go into the industry, into sure. the music industry? Yeah. Yeah, it's I better just than working in a bank. I'll tell you that. <laughs> or, or, or being an. It's agri- fun. A more life experience. Uh, yeah. well. Which <laughs> other bands like currently do you like? Um, well, I mean, I do like, as I was saying to you before, I like the, some of the female singers that yeah. have come through. You know, the Amy Winehouse and Adele and all these people who all, all the proper musicians. They they work they they worked hard at their. I mean, I saw of the bands. I quite the Grizzly Bear. I quite like. All good, mm-hmm. you know. Um, Arcade Fire. I like the older guys then, who kind of emerged. I like things like Tool as well. Mm-hmm. It's the only heavy rock yeah. thing I mm-hmm. really like. Um, Soundgarden, we a like. Perfect, a yeah. perfect circle. Soundgarden have just been on Jules, yeah. Yeah. and they were terrific. Mm-hmm. I, you couldn't fault yeah. them. I mean, if you're going to... You know, we've come away from rock, really. Yeah. Partly because it's loud. We, we don't want to play loud anymore. And then you've got your book, which is coming out again hopefully in paperback and ebook it's a good uh, read around about april i would say anything that you missed out in the book that you felt like you couldn't really write about uh perhaps one or, one or two <laughs> i really want to know when <laughs> i was reading good, it good I was question. that is a good question <laughs> uh, i didn't well <laughs> i didn't i didn't go into a hundred percent of everything so i didn't want to hurt some people yeah and and I think I was reasonably justified in not doing that. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not. In the latter part of my life, I've tried very very hard not to harm people. It's been absolutely lovely having you on the show. Thank you for coming in and playing your songs to us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Great Thank being you likewise. Much. Thank you. Cheers. Our pleasure.
I'm now joined by the Supernovas. Hi guys, how are you? Hello. <laughs> Good, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Um, just tell me a little bit about how you guys started and how you all met. Well, we all, well, us three started in uh, Bishop Douglas, which was our secondary school that we attended. Mm -hmm. And then we moved on to Westminster Kingsway where we met Moses and he took over as our new drummer. Yeah. What about songwriting? Who does that mainly? Do you all kind of do We in? all pretty much contribute, like, yeah, musically, definitely. Mm -hmm. And who would you say yeah. your main influences are? People like Paul Weller, uh, John Lennon, sort of people sort of write about the truth, you know. Um, yeah. Also, like, sort of people who knew humour as well. Like, I love, like, John Cooper Clark. <laughs> I said I'm sorry, God thought I 